Hey, welcome back to Deck by Pike. Today we're taking a first look at the Asus Rogue Zephyrus 14-inch gaming laptop. This laptop comes with the 14-inch QHD 165Hz Rogue Nebula display. Asus boasts that this can get up to 500 nits of brightness. Uh, it features a touchscreen QHD 16 by 10 aspect ratio 2560 by 1600 resolution. It also comes with an AMD Ryzen 9 7940 HS processor, that's 8 cores and 16 threads. It also comes with an RTX 4090 um, graphics card, 16 gigabytes of GDDR6, and uh, it has Rogue Boost up to 145 watts. Comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, DDR5 at 4800 megahertz. One terabyte solid state drive, PCIe Gen 4, has that rogue intelligent cooling and a number of other features that we can go through uh, as we unbox it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to unbox this laptop and then uh, we'll check out the chassis trackpad and hopefully be able to open it up and take a look at some internals and maybe even has some time to turn it on and do a little benchmarking. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, let's open it up. I like the way when you open it straight up, it pulls the laptop and kind of puts it, it has a platform here and it just kind of pops the laptop up and kind of displays it here. I wish it was more like this so you can see all this information uh, right side up and not upside down, but uh, um, that's pretty cool. Go ahead and take the laptop out here. We'll come back to that. I'm guessing this has all the propaganda in it. So we got uh, the G-Series Gaming Notebook. Talks a little bit about the features um, like the uh, microphones, the camera, IR, so I'm guessing it has facial recognition. Uh, camera indicator, display panel, all kind of where the power button is and all that. Um, it has some uh, definitely some useful ports there. We'll go over that has the uh, warranty card and it uh, looks like uh, register as an ASUS member and you get a number of uh, different things by doing that. Thank you for purchasing an ASUS laptop. Alright, let's plop that down. We're going to go ahead and open up this compartment because it has the power brick. And this power brick is oh, 240 watts. We'll go ahead and open that up. And I think that is all we get. Nope, nothing in there. So we'll go ahead and close this up and toss it off to the side here. Go ahead and unwrap this power cable. Nice and long, like that. We're going to go ahead and open this up. Pretty small. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Razer power bridge. Alright. Now we'll get to the main event here. Nice, small, compact. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Got the sticker up front. Talks about the uh, screen refresh rate, talks about the display, 100% DCI-P3 coverage, has NVIDIA Advanced Optimus, 
uh, talks about 13 uh, degrees Celsius lower CPU temps, maximum airflow, uh, truly silent. Uh, we'll be the judge of that. All right, let's go and peel this guy off. Now let's see if we can open it up with one finger. Not a problem. We're going to move this screen protector off. You know, it doesn't look too much uh, different from previous versions. All right, let's check out the chassis here first. All right, we're going to start with the chassis and we're going to first check out the top here of the laptop, the lid. And there is very little flex here until you get towards the middle, uh, pretty rigid. I like this silver accent piece right here. I don't recall if it was in the previous version of this laptop, last year's model, um, but I do like it. You'll notice here at the bottom of the screen, you have two rubber feet. Uh, that's for when you lift up the screen here, it actually, the screen goes down and it picks up the whole body of the laptop and I, those feet there are to protect the bottom of the uh, screen here. So I, I really like that, it's a nice touch. Uh, I like the dot matrix design. This one, I believe, does have um, backlighting, and so you can make different designs. I've never seen it uh, in real life. I've seen it on videos and stuff like that. Uh, so we're definitely going to uh, check that out in one of the videos here. I might make a short out of it. I'm not sure. Uh, but I do know that it does light up. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this up with one finger again. Pretty good. I'm going to bring that forward. I want to see if there's any wobble in the screen. Not really. Um, let's check out flex here just a little bit. Not bad at all. It feels very rigid. The hinges are fantastically strong um, and it feels like it, they're very durable. So that's great news. Let's flip it around again, open it up. And we're going to check out the keyboard deck. This feels a little bit different, this keyboard deck, than the rest of the laptop. It kind of has a, I don't know, kind of a felt or rubbery feel. Uh, felt is a bad word. Uh, rubbery, I guess. Kind of this rubbery feel to it. Um, and I like it. I like it. It feels pretty comfortable. Check out the trackpad here. Good clicking action. Good return. Nice and smooth. Check out the keys. Good travel. They're not my favorite, um, but they're pretty decent. Have a lot of shortcut keys uh, that controls uh, the volume, the mute on the mic, uh, fans. Uh, this might be the, uh, I don't know what that means, the aura light maybe? I don't know. We'll have to check that out. Um, I think these are two upward facing speakers. Uh, we'll also have to uh, open this up and see if that is true. And then we got some venting here that's going to go up against the bezel the air is going to blow out and hit this that's never been a problem before uh, that i know of so uh, i'm not really concerned all right let's check out io all right the ports on the left hand side you got some venting you got the power barrel port here you got hdmi you have a usb c it looks like it is display possibly thunderbolts and then you have the mic jack. We'll go to the right hand side here and it looks like we got a mini SD card slot. I wish it was uh, full size. Another uh, USB-C and that looks like it's a display only. And then uh, you have two USB-A's and then some more venting. I showed you the venting uh, in the back here and then you have the two rubber feet like I mentioned before. And let's look at the bottom here. We got some two downward facing speakers. Looks like we got some grills here too for the sides. So maybe those ones on top of the keyboard deck are not speakers. We'll take a look. And then you have some air intake here. Uh, so that's great. Keep this laptop cool while playing AAA games. All right, let's go ahead and uh, weigh it. Okay, let's weigh the laptop alone here. All right, three pounds, 12 ounces, and the power brick and cables comes out to 
five pounds, five ounces. All right, we were able to get uh, into the laptop itself. We were able to unscrew uh, the bottom plate uh, from the chassis. It's 11 screws, they're Phillip head uh, screws. A couple things to note here is that the three on the bottom here that don't come out are smaller than the rest of them. I mean, shorter. So uh, just be aware of that. Also, the uh, one here on, it would be the left-hand side if it was flipped up, uh, doesn't come out, but it does lift up the bottom plate to where there's a gap and you can get your tools in there and pry the bottom plate off. Another thing to note, and it was kind of a pain in the ass, but the screws in the middle right here are actually covered by these little rubber stoppers, I guess, covers. And those were a pain to get out uh, to get to the screws. So just FYI, FYI, be gentle and patient and you'll be able to uh, get this bottom plate off. A um, couple things, uh, you see the two downward facing speaker grills. You got your airflow grills here. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right. All right, the first thing you see here is the battery, and I believe that's a 76 watt battery. Yes, indeed it is. You see the two downward facing speakers. Uh, on the listing for this laptop on Best Buy, it says it has eight speakers, um, uh, four tweeters and two woofers. So I think, um, unless the listing is wrong, uh, the two grills that the small ones on the keyboard deck are upward facing speakers. I, I think they are. Uh, another thing that I did find out is I don't believe this has the dot matrix on the lid, just to let you know. And not only that, is the listing is wrong on the Best Buy website. This isn't a 16 gig uh, laptop. This is 32 gigs. 16 gigs of, free, of memory here. There's a dim. Uh, that you can uh, upgrade, I guess. And then there's another 16 solder to the motherboard. You have the one terabyte SSD, and then underneath that is a Wi-Fi 6 card that I believe is swappable. You have the two fans here, some pipes. Um, looks pretty compact and small. Uh, they pretty much uh, loaded it up. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fasten the bottom plate back to the laptop here and get it all fixed up. We're going to turn this thing on and uh, see if we can get a few um, benchmarking scores and maybe just a little bit of gaming if we have time. We performed some benchmarking starting out with Cinebench. The multi-core score was 17,538, and then single core score was 1,811. We also uh, did some testing with 3D Mark. Time Spy score was graphic score was 16,814, and our CPU score was 10,421. For Fire Strike, we got a graphic score of 41,287, a physics score of 28,101, and a combined score of 15,927. And we got legendary status based on uh, online scores. Did a little in-game benchmarking, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And we got some pretty decent scores there. Uh, the uh, in-game was on high, and we were switched to the dedicated graphics card and then also Call of Duty. We played a couple uh, couple games, uh, Hogwarts Legacy um, and also uh, Diablo 4 uh, that just got launched and uh, we were having no problems there. Great scores. Uh, really enjoyed our time playing those games. Uh, it, this laptop is fantastic. It's really a 14 inch Beast and probably my favorite 14 inch gaming laptop so far this year. It's just packed with power. We're going to do a little more benchmarking and more playing of games and we're going to bring those um, that video to you. We're also going to highlight some features of the laptop as well. So if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike 
hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. Helps the channel. Not only that, gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. And uh, for that, we thank you. We'll see you in the next one.